Hello everyone, in this video I'll be showing you how to make a table or create a table in my MySQL Workbench. So if you are a beginner, you just uh, need to follow each and every step to create a table. And so first of all, to create a table, we need to create first a database. And database is basically uh, in my Workbench is uh, this rent, uh, scheme, schema. This new schema keyword is used for database in uh, Workbench. Just you, you just need to click on this slender icon. And now you have to enter the name of your database like uh, MySQL. I will write it as QL. And Q, fine. And let's click on this apply option or apply button to create. So it says that it must be a lowercase, and so the, all the letters will be converted into lowercase. So I, I don't know. I, so basically, to create a gig schema, you can uh, run this query as well. But if you want to uh, do manually, you can do this by this way and click on apply. After this, click on finish and your and your uh, steam uh, will be created here. As you can see this here, my SQL tute. Now just expand this, uh, expand this uh, uh, database and click on table and click on, right click on it and click, click on this create table. Now enter the name of the table like i'm going to name it as uh cricket fine and uh, now you can add uh one by one each column here so the first first of all we have to enter the uh, name of the column like first is jersey number jersey number and uh, it will be as did int data type and choose it as primary key and unique key fine so basically primary and unique key is used to, used to identify the or uh, it is unique so it, it can be used to identify any uh, or find any player in the table so once it is created now i uh, just uh, click on the next row and now we will name it as name and it will be as uh, since it is a, a string so it is automatically added by here if you want to change the uh, data type you can change it by clicking on clicking on uh, double click on it and just expand this options and you can choose the database if you want fine now you can choose it as not null and primary key as well so it cannot be unique because the same by same name two player can be uh in the team so there's a possibility so you can't choose the unique option or unique index fine after this you have to double click on the next row and it will be as uh runs total runs or runs and after this again and this will be an integer instead of the where care or the string so we'll take it as integer and integer will be in a whole number and it will be uh, let's set 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 it as a non-null fine and now let's choose another uh, row and double click on it and we'll take it as average fine and average will be in double click on it and now you can average will be in decimal or percentage is a percentage so we'll ch we have to choose uh, float since the percentage will be in uh, decimal so you just can choose a uh, float from here and it should be also not null or you can choose it or you can 
leave it as not uh, unchecked and not null because there can be uh, no average of any new player. So you can leave it as a null. And uh, now the next row is for the wickets. If he, if he is a uh, all rounder, we have to choose wicket and wicket also data type of wicket will be uh, integer again. And we can leave it as null as well because he can be a proper or pure batsman. Now after this, now you, once you're done with your rows, now you just need to click on this apply option. Apply button. Just click on it. That all the names and the column name will be converted into the smallest one. Uh, so the lower in the lower cases, just click on OK and click on apply. So you can create a table by write, uh, writing this query as well. But why do we need to uh, do hard work when there is a short way? So you just need to click on this apply option and click on finish. So our new table has been created and you can view, you can click on uh, so you can click on the table. So now once we created a table, uh, you have to uh, go to tables, expand the tables and click on this kind of a table icon. Click on it. Now you your table will be here. Now you can uh, add your data one by one like the number one first uh, player. You, you can add a first row. So you have to enter the jersey number of first player like seven and it is of uh dhoni fine Let's see. and he's run something like uh ten thousand average is above t2 point of three and his wicket is around three fine the second to add a, a row uh, to add a data in second row just click on clicking on it and now enter the sec second jersey number and it will be of Virat Kohli and just name it as Kohli and his runs in ODIs uh, 13,000 something eh? and his average is 58 around 58.5 something and his wicket in international is uh, less less uh and fight now the next jersey number of is virat rohit sharma and you can enter rohit as name and you can enter the runs and his uh, runs is around nine thousand seven hundred something and his average is 48 and his wicket is around n something so now you can enter the uh, like this uh, you can enter uh, or you can add rows one by one so once we are done with this click on uh, apply button again and so your data will be added as here as so if you want to create a add a data you can you can uh, run a query like this. You have to end, uh, write insert into table name, table name, and insert into first of all you have to and uh, write uh, the database, then the table name. After this, you have to enter or write uh, all the columns where you have to where you going to enter these uh, data in. Uh, into respective these columns and once you're done you have to click on this apply button and click on finish so our data has been saved in this table you can see if you want you just need to run a command here or uh, let me what can i do you can enter data in each any way if you want so now i'm going to i'm going to run a command here like select 
star star is for all the data from and you have to enter uh, or you have to type the table name is cricket and just click on uh, just uh, first of all we have to uh, select the database as well so you have to write use and the data type database name and which is um, my sqtut and just now first of all we have to use database where the table is lies and then you have to select the table and select all rows all the column by using this star or asterisk of asterisk keyword and once you're done just run this command by uh clicking on this uh lightning icon like just click on it and you can see a table has been projected here if you remove this first line you will see the difference it won't allow to uh, run this command since i have already uh, selected or uh, i have already uh, selected the database earlier so it will um, now you can uh, project our table as many as time you, we can so but before if you don't use the use command before uh, uh, before before calling this uh, query then you will encounter with an error so i got this error while so since i have already selected the database from database or a schema from here already and you can see the schema is my is already selected so you may not use uh, have to use the uh, use command or a data command database command to print your table from the database database so i hope you understood yeah that's how you can create your table and create a database hope you like it thanks for watching